don't know why this thing overheats way too much and just cuts me off while I'm in the middle of a vlog. All I'm trying to do is make a vlog and just this stupid camera keeps overheating to the point of where it just turns off. But anyway, as I was saying at the end of the last video before I was so rudely interrupted, I wasn't aware of the mucinex increasing your heart rate. So it's like I heard that you probably shouldn't take it shortly before going to bed or whatever. It's just weird though because I've never noticed that even in the when I've taken it in the past because I've taken that stuff a bunch in the past like whenever I have a cold or something and I'm always coughing up all that annoying gunk it just gets rid of it like 10 times quicker and I never noticed anything other than maybe it makes my throat a little bit more dry but I don't know I'm tired as usual I'm always tired so I pretty much already covered everything in the last video talking about this stuff. Just tired of having these obligations where it's like I have to do this and there are times where it's not just going to the doctor and dealing with nurses and these morons that have no idea what they're doing and it just makes it more miserable than it needs to be. But it's just stuff in general like things that you have to deal with on a regular basis why can't it just be smooth and quick and to the point? Why does it have to be a pain in the ass? I'll never understand that. It's like going to the doctor is just a thing that I do on a regular basis. Like every five or six months I'll go to the doctor. But it's like normally when they take blood, it takes like two seconds. Every time they stick a needle in my arm, it takes like two seconds to get the needle in my arm. And then... I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now you know that they did a crappy job. Look at this. Look at the bruising. It looks like a potato. Because they stuck the needle in there. That didn't work. And it felt like someone was stabbing me. And then they tried doing it again on the top. There's a little bit of bruising right here. If you can see that a little bit. It's not quite as bad. It feels the worst down here. It feels like someone punched me in the arm really hard or something. And then they put the needle up here somewhere, but the other nurse that actually knew what she was doing is the one that put the needle up there and she got it done in like two seconds. So I was just thinking to myself, like after the first mishap, like I was just thinking to myself, can I get someone over here that like knows what they're doing? I don't enjoy being a guinea pig to some inexperienced <clears throat> moron that has can't even get a needle into your arm. Like I've I've seen <clears throat> I've seen junkies on the street that can use needles on themselves a hundred times better than some of these nurses at the doctor's office. Like it just blows my mind. Those people just slamming heroin on the street and they can get the needle into their arm like no problem. Like, why can a junkie do that so easily, but a nurse can't? Get real. Ugh. Anyway, that's really all I... I have nothing else to say in this video. So... Other than I'm really tempted to paint, get a new paint job on this car, because it's like 80 degrees outside, but it still feels like it's 105 degrees in this car, and... One of the reasons behind that is because black paint. Having black paint on your car in the stupid desert is a death wish. So now that it's cooling off, I'm really tempted to go see how much it would cost to paint the car white. So maybe next summer won't be as brutal. Anyway, stay tuned for more stupid videos.